guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we are going to get really really close to my face we are going to be removing hair off my face <laughs> i know this is going to be interesting i'm going to be using this little tool right here this is called the flawless instant and painless facial hair remover it does cut for remover it does come in three different colors it comes in let's see it comes in black and rose gold which is an online only exclusive I, first of all you can get these at ulta i should have said that first you can get it in blush and rose gold so right there's what it looks like and then also the color that i have which is the white and rose gold so i do have that one right there it is 19 dollars 99 if you purchase it through ulta so it's not a bad price if you're someone who actually has the same issue that i have you do get like tiny little facial hairs that really i don't know they really bother me for some reason because i feel like it gets close to like my mustache area it gets close to my chin area which makes it look like kind of like a beard and I don't want to wax that. I don't want the feeling of waxing my face. So I have usually used something to just kind of buzz over it. So I did have those little, it's kind of like a stick one. And you can use those to remove hair off your face. And they work just fine. However, since I started using this one, I've noticed I love this one so much more. This one is really, really good. So it does look like this. Of course, like I said, it does come in like the white and rose gold packaging. The others are the other two colors, the black and rose gold and the pink or rose and pink and ro blush and rose gold. So the lid comes off and you do get a device that looks like this. And so it looks like this at the top. It's very interesting looking. And then you're going to have your little button here to turn it on and turn it off. And it does have a little light attached to it. So you're supposed to peel that off, but I didn't peel it off. I'm not good with instructions. So what you do with this is you're going to place it against whatever area you're going to try to remove hair. And then you're going to move it in circular motions. So you're going to move it around in circular motions. And while it's moving in circular motions, it's kind of pulling and sucking your skin up a little bit. Just like it's a little bit of a suction to it to help get it as close as it possibly can for a cut. So if you're someone who does not remove your facial hair, you do not probably want to use this tool. But if you're someone who's like me and you're self-conscious about having facial hair, especially in certain areas, I think a lot of women have facial hair and they just don't want to talk about it. It's not one of the, it's like a faux pas thing that nobody really wants to talk about. I don't mind talking about it because I told you guys before I'm an open book. Anything that you guys tell me or, or want to know about me, I'm going to tell you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you guys in very close to my face so we can get a look at how this is working. And so you can see the tiny hairs that I'm talking about on my chin and on my upper lip so that we can remove those. I do not use it on my cheeks or anything like that because I find when I remove any kind of hair on my cheeks, that area right there for some reason, if I try to do that, then I do break out more. And I don't know why, but I just do. So I don't touch that whatsoever, but I will remove it in this area right here. And I see even take it down towards my throat area a little bit because I do get have one wild hair. It's like my little boar hair, I guess. I don't know what it's called. I have one little wild hair that usually ends up growing right in this area. So I'd rather just take it down and kind of figure out where it is and just let them get them all. So let's zoom you guys in as close as we can. Okie dokie. So I'm going to get you guys mostly at my chin area so you can see what I'm doing. So like I said, we're going to be removing the hair in this area right here. So I don't know if you can even see. Do you see the little hairs? There are little baby hairs here, and there is one or two on my upper lip. There's a few hairs here, so we're going to be removing those. So we're going to use the little tool. It's going to be a little loud. I'm going to put it on, and then you see. It's just, it's kind of like sucking your skin a little bit. It's like giving it a little kiss, and it's removing the hair. Hopefully you can see. You just want to keep uh, moving it in circular motion. Oh. Take it under my chin. My circular motion is not so good. And like I said, there's one usually little crazy hair right in here. I usually go down like that to make sure I get that one. Bring it back up. And it's done. We're done. So that is the completed process for doing it. And my face was very smooth here now. And the only thing you want to make sure you do after you remove facial hair like that is you want to make sure that you 
go ahead and use some sort of something to moisturize your skin because your skin is going to feel quite dry for some reason and I don't know if it's because you're like kind of it's sucking the skin up as well as it is like cutting the hair there and I don't know if that's why it's making it feel so dry because typically I know when I used to use like the stick one I didn't have the problem where it felt quite as dry as this one does but I do feel like this one did gets a closer cut so that I don't feel like I need I have that five o'clock shadow or something going on so I really enjoy this little tool here and for 20 bucks I think it's well worth it is it something you need I don't know that depends on if you remove your facial hair or not if you do and you like tools like this then I think you should probably check it out I don't think it's something you need to immediately run out and get no but for 20 bucks if Ulta has like a coupon going on or something like that you can get it for even cheaper I don't think it's a bad price I think it's a pretty cool tool so let me know what you think of this tool in the little description or the <laughs> comment section below I'll, I'll list any other information I have about this product in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later